Hello and welcome to Mind, Mood and Food podcast with me, Margaret Bell, anti-diet-powered coach and gut health expert, and my partner in crime, Adele Derbyshire. Hello, I am a yoga teacher and creator of Find Your Inner Sparkle, which is a toolbox, 50 ways to help you to look and feel better from the inside out. Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to be discussing self-love. Do you love yourself? So Adele, do you? (laughs) Well, that's a question, isn't it? Mm. I'd say yes now, but not always. Mm. It's not always been the case and it's been a bit of a journey to use that overused word. Um... I think as people who listen to this, if you've been listening to this for a while, hopefully we'll have an idea now about, you know, our different personalities and things like that and our little quirks and foibles. But yeah, I've always struggled with it um, and been very, very much on the side of self-deprecation and, um, you know, not bigging myself up and looking at myself like a very very you know piece of rough clay if you like that needs a lot of work and it's you know not rough not diamond any... rough yes diamond. rough diamond <laughs> I would say now and you sparkle and all that but yeah that's why I do what I do really I think because um it has been difficult for me and I think I think you do grow into your own skin don't you, yeah. you know like I think it definitely gets easier with age I think you start off when you're li- really little you haven't got all the you know the the ways of the world and the you know the comments that people start start to say that you kind of like allow to affect you and you know so when you're really little you haven't got all that so you're just like it's me I'm here and you're like doing pirouettes and cartwheels and <laughs> and you yeah. know like you don't care do you and you see children like under the age of five probably you have got self love nails they're like yeah. I am the bee's knees this is me I've always been a little bit shy but. Um, you know, you don't have any of those hang ups. I think that's the right word. So True. I think after the age of five, six, seven, you start to, you know, somebody's maybe made a comment about um, your appearance, like one of your friends or, you know, the good old mm. friends at school that can be really cruel. Um, and then you start to get complex about this, that and the other, don't you? And that kind of continues to grow and, and build this, you know, what I call a mask or a shield or suit of armor against the world really that you 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 really try and hide away your true self because you are trying to fit in Mm. and actually taking time to think about yourself as being a wonderful you know beautiful unique shiny diamond that you are because we are all like we're all who we are for a reason Mm we don't do so much we we tend to think about the negative stuff and the human mind unfortunately gets drawn to the negative I think it's definitely a survival thing you know if you look into psychology and and um of the human brain we'd probably find um it's like that for a reason but it's not helpful for mood and depression and anxiety and things like that so we have to we have to make ourselves practice thinking the other way. It doesn't come naturally to most people. I, I get exactly what you're saying there. And it's a good job that my mum was passed on to another world because I can get away with saying this now. <laughs> um, yeah, I can remember as a kid, I think I would have been about five or six actually. And my mum always used to make the comment, you can hear her before you see her. Mm. And that really stuck with me yeah. for quite a number of years. To the point I actually went on um, a retreat a couple of months ago. And I, the reason I went to the retreat is because I wanted to get my voice heard. And then looking into that, it's like, this is one of the big reasons why. I started looking back and going, I never put two and two together, but this is the very, very start of it. 
and that just like it was just like wow mm. that was such a revelation for me but on the other hand I knew my mum would have had her best intentions at the time but I re- it really made me understand why I'd always been quite quiet and not getting my voice out there mm. and bloody hell has that changed a little bit now <laughs> yeah but it is it's the, the the comments that our parents make you know mm. and as a parent myself it's you probably say stuff all the time that's going to be you know leading my kids to end up in therapy when they're grown up because we all do it and you don't mean to but it's no. it's it's the thing that our parents say to us like that you know you can hear before you can see her that wouldn't have been meant Mm-mm. Awesome. in any damaging way and there's nothing there's nothing there's no right or wrong half the time is there as, as a parent or, or as a sister or as a friend or um we all say things that somebody else is going to take to heart and be sensitive about and that's going to end up um in yoga we call them our samskaras i've talked about them before and it's it's buried in the subconscious then so it's like this iceberg and it's all underneath which is why it popped up um when you went to the retreat because you had the space and the time to and the safe yeah, environment to, to let it to let it pop up yeah and this is why we need to do the work on ourselves um and there is lots of work to do <laughs> in terms of whenever we are upset by something or disturbed by something um just having a little look at that maybe doing a bit of journaling about it instead of kind of squashing it down mm-hmm. Um, that is the work of of the yogi it's it's every time something triggers you and something you know makes you angry or makes you sad or makes you afraid it's worth just thinking why is that I wonder where that comes from yeah. and just seeing if anything pops up because then it can be dealt with mm-hmm. whereas when it's like pushed down in that subconscious it's yep. kind of like trapped there in the body and it's it's difficult to let it up it's like it wants to come up it wants to release but um it's finding it difficult to to come out because we bury things because they're painful we bury things because they hurt our feelings yeah Um, and a lot of the times it's buried with food but yeah i get what you yeah absolutely get what you're saying let it just kind of stand back from them going why is this affecting me so much what is exactly yeah and sometimes if you look at it through an adult pair of eyes as well because more more often than not it's things that happen to us up to the age of about seven or eight that are buried in there that's you know a lot of our conditioning and programming happens at that young age we can then kind of reparent ourselves we can kind of give ourselves that self-love we can give ourselves that compassion we can say do you know what i get it i understand why you felt like that Mm. and now it's okay to let that go you don't need to think like that anymore you don't need to feel like that anymore And with that, um, you know, even if your parents have passed on, you can't sort of have a conversation about it, but you don't even need to. No, Um, definitely don't. Like, I think it's probably better sometimes to do it yourself or to talk to, you know, a therapist or a coach and to reparent yourself. Because, you know, if you're looking for that validation from somebody else, like sometimes I think we can be, you know, if, if that, if something was said, a hurtful comment or something like that when you were younger and then you try to address it with that person they might still have that yeah. opinion they might still you're just going to end up feeling hurt all over again so sometimes it's better to um, process it yourself and to know that you can give yourself that that self-love and give yourself that permission to let that go now that you don't need to carry it around and we, we carry everything around like like in the army when they do those trainings and they've got the bergens and they call them on the full yeah. of baggage and we're trying just through our journey um through life just to let go of some of that and just to put it down and say I don't, mm. I don't need to i don't need to keep hold of that anymore it's not serving me no i'll put it as a, as a an analogy if that's the right word um which a lot of clients is you're holding on to a heavy winter coat mm time to just take that off and let it go even though yeah. we're coming into the winter now <laughs> yeah <laughs> well I'm go- i can't remember when this is going to go out we no, need to get back in because it's, <laughs> it's not going out for a few weeks is it but i think just to give a few 
a few tips on how to maybe help with this self-love because I know I think it's a lot it's something that a lot of people struggle with um it's quite common and one of the things that's helped me is letting go of perfectionism yeah and that I know you you resonate with this as well Margaret that that need to be perfect that need to have everything all your ducks in a row mm. and you know to never make a mistake and never let anyone down and you know if you're that kind of person that perfectionism resonates with you um because it doesn't with everyone but a good proportion of people it does that's going to get in your way of loving yourself because you're constantly going to be criticizing yourself mm -hmm. nothing's ever going to be good enough and it's the standards that you are setting nobody no else else's. yeah why set your standards so blooming high that you can't never reach them no and you know what does perfect look like so you right you never do reach it so it's just a really re you know really ridiculous bar mm -hmm. to set for yourself yes do your best you know with whatever you're doing at, at any one time give it your best you know do your best show up care about what you're doing give it that passion that drive that commitment i'm not saying you know turn into a complete bleep and not care about anyone and just you know go oh well you know yeah turn up when i want gonna yeah. do what i want gonna say what i want it it's not about that but it, it's about giving yourself a break yeah definitely. and being kind to yourself Mm -hmm. understanding that hey, hey, hello you are human as well <laughs> yeah and i think it is again coming it comes with age so i think it's more difficult for our younger people i see it in my children uh and i know i did it myself you'll see that they're quite defensive or very defensive and they'll shoot in with that defensive comment before they've even thought about it yeah yeah it, and you know then you can get into that with them can't you and it before you realize wait i'm the adult don't need yeah, to do this yeah. right now but it's all about defense because you know they can't possibly be seen to have got something wrong they, you know because that's mm. damaging to the ego to the psyche so just letting go of that letting go of that need to always be right letting go of that need for perfectionism and it's such a relief you know just to be like hmm. yeah Don't, you know we never mean to make a mistake do we not do it on purpose no, no. i think that's quite important for younger people these days because the world of social media and mm. peers are all there you know showing perfection yes showing perfection it's just yeah. like this is this is not real in the slightest yeah and it's difficult for them to see that mm. when everything you know because we had it with magazines and things like that but not yeah like real normal people as you like as you like as influencers showing up on instagram and tiktok and you know all these kind of like perfect bodies and perfect homes and mm -hmm. it's it's difficult to live up to isn't it so it probably makes that even more it makes that perfectionism um gene even more prevalent in younger mm -hmm. people absolutely absolutely i've seen uh, it so many times with different yeah. team clients that it is just that okay let's look at it realistically now do you really think they live day by day like that uh -uh. <laughs> not at all no so yeah just give yourself a break is um definitely my number one tip and to un understand that yeah social media is not real and it's just the highlight reel and it's what people want you to see um and number two would be to be you to be yourself and to give yourself permission to be yourself i'm very much all about owning yourself and that means your little quirks and your foibles and your you know the things that you might not really like about yourself if, if you're if you're looking at self-love and you're looking at like building up your self-esteem and your confidence you know it needs to be all of you really and not just the bits that you like and that's the hard bit i think to you know to look at your tummy or your bum or whatever it might be that you don't like and mm -hmm. to still love it um just talking about the body there but there are obviously all sorts of other um 
areas to look at like personality and little traits and do you know if you're like really forgetful or um <laughs> you like lose things or so, you know some just like those little quirks and traits if that's what makes you you yes you can you can work with those and you can try and do something that helps a little bit so you know it yeah. improves a little bit um but if it's you know it is you you've always been like that it's just I think that thing about sense of humor and, and bringing that into play is really helpful with that definitely absolutely I mean I notice as I get older and I, and I, I refrain from doing it on here as much as I possibly can but it, it's definitely getting worse with age swearing <laughs> <laughs> and most of the time I just embrace that I can contain it but most of the time it's one of those things i'm just going to embrace it this is who i am take it or leave it yeah Tough. and i think <laughs> it, it comes down to that ownership of you um the thing about people pleasing as well which is another one of the inner critics um the, the perfectionist the people pleaser and if you are one that tends to want to make sure that everyone's happy and that you've you know made, made sure that no one gets offended and that mm. you know um you don't rock the boat ever and things like that you're not going to be able to be your true self and I did a post about this recently which I know you saw because again this was me it's something yeah. I still work really hard with mm. and to be more and more me as time goes on because I don't like quite frankly want to wait until I'm 85 to just be like I don't care anymore I'm going to say what I want swear at who I want wear what I want you know <laughs> which you do get to that point because you realize like I've got a minute time's running out yeah. I've got time to be pussy putting around and pandering to everyone anymore to hell with that you know I want to do that now yeah. um, and whatever age you are listening to this I, if we take anything from it I just hope that you think do you know what yeah I'm going to be more me if I want to wear a mini skirt at 55 i'm gonna wear one like who cares oh, well, i'm too old it. for that you know oh, i can't we'll possibly yeah i can't possibly you know yeah. be like my best friend beth i don't know whether she listens to it or not to, or not we'll find she out doesn't. beth I'm if gonna you are listening her. <laughs> <laughs> but um, let us know. we went out for a 50th um just to, just this weekend gone so this is just the she she's born on the 31st of october so she does say quite happily she is a witch oh. <laughs> and i can get away with calling her that but she wore a cat suit yes going out. <laughs> and it was like she did question me beforehand and said do you want to wear it yes well blum and well do it then <laughs> yeah exactly um and just if you hear that little voice you know if you do if you don't want to wear something and you don't feel right in it don't wear it it's not mm. about just doing something just for the sake of it yeah. i'm talking about if you like really like something and it lights you up but you're worried about what someone else is yeah. going to think about it yeah just stop like just you know what who are you what are your favorite colors what do you love doing like what's stopping you um what's getting in your way it's it's just this one life you've only got as we know of um mm. you know this go go at it so if we keep hiding our light under a bushel and stopping being who we are meant to be, it's a shame. It's kind of a waste, isn't it? Yeah. And believe to spend me. all that time thinking about, oh, I'm, but I've got a bit of a double chin or I've got a bump here that I don't like, to, to waste time thinking that instead of looking at all the great things, it is such a shame. Yeah. And believe me, no one else is looking at your double chin or anything because they're, they're all worried about their own. They're all worried about their own as well. Yeah. She that's says it. with a polo neck. Because I can't remember the quote now, but there is there's a, a line that I heard recently about this kind of thing. It's like, don't flatter yourself. If you think everyone's thinking about you, you know, don't flatter yourself. No, they're not. No. Because yeah. they're too busy. It's like when you go to a networking meeting, isn't it? And then they're doing yeah. that horrible thing where you go around the room. People aren't really even listening to your bit because they're if they've not done their bit yet, they're just like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, what am I going to yeah. say? And if they have done their bit, they're going, oh my God, oh my God, what did I just say? <laughs> and now I'm listening <laughs> to your bit. You only have to notice your own behaviour yeah. when yeah. you go to one of those things to 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 know that's true. Very much so, yeah. Whew. Flip a neck. Very yeah, good. So, yeah, just be be you, embrace your you-ness, quirks and all, 
yeah embrace your uniqueness yeah and you know celebrate that celebrate those little quirks I think more than ever as we emerge into the perimenopause menopause arena which I definitely am oh yes I uh, <laughs> and I know we're going to be talking about that soon so stay tuned if you are a, a woman of a certain age <laughs> or that you have a woman of a certain age in your life because we are going to be definitely uh, heading into this ourselves so um diving into all things about that soon um you know I think it's it's this self-care and self-love is needed more than ever because you can start to feel a little bit insignificant yeah. or like you're losing some part of you it's that cycle of going through this change they do call it the change don't they that yeah. can have that effect where you feel like you're becoming invisible you're disappearing or maybe your mood changes so you feel like you can't be asked with the self-care mm. and so you start to not bother doing your makeup doing it you know whereas if you've always done that before it's like what's going making on? yourself just do those little acts of love and self-care that self-care might be putting a little bit of lipstick and mascara on mm. you know that's not to say if you don't wear makeup that I'm saying you've got to because not at all it's just that if you do normally like I'm somebody that does normally put a bit of makeup on every day if I start to notice that I've stopped doing that mm -hmm. at some point I'm going to be aware of that and hopefully go no 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 hang on a minute yeah this is what if there's a way I can put it do you do yeah <laughs> do you <laughs> is it Oscar Wilde that says be be yourself because everyone else is taken yeah oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> you do you I'll do me exactly <laughs> exactly oh that was fabulous Adele thank you so very much very insightful and hopefully a few chuckles along the way as well and as we said we will be diving into Perry menopause and menopause oh in quite a few up and coming podcasts so if, if this is something that you're really interested in that you've got a specific subject that would like that you'd like us to cover then please let us know and when it comes to liking and subscribing then absolutely go ahead and do it but thank you very much Adele that was very insightful I enjoyed that one <laughs> thank you Margaret thanks everyone for listening Bye. Bye.